Hello, good morning. So I decided to make a video. Um, I woke up this morning and was feeling really drained. Um, and I don't mean like, like I wasn't tired, but I felt like I wasn't myself and I just felt very um, like flat, like I didn't, I don't know how to explain it. That's just, that's the best way I can explain it. So I realized um, why I was feeling this way. And I really think it's because I've been consuming a lot lately. Um, and what I mean by that is I've been scrolling through social media and, you know, watching YouTube videos and um, taking in a lot of media and a lot of other people's lives and haven't really been creating or um, making more out of my life, if that makes sense. So there's this like whole idea about um, creating versus consuming on social media and your relationship with that. And I think um, I wanted to make a video today about that because I think a lot of people struggle with this whole um, I mean, it's a new thing. Humans aren't really used to having social media and being connected to millions of people at the drop, you know, at the drop of a hat. In in a second, you can go on your phone and connect with anyone. Um, and this isn't how we were wired. Uh, so I think I want to make a video just about creating more and um, this this idea as a solution for that drained feeling that I'm sure. I'm not the only one who gets um, this way sometimes. And yeah, so today I'm gonna go into town and I'm going to treat myself a little bit. Um, so self-love is a topic that, I don't know, I have a hard time with because I don't like that, that definition. I think self-love is, I think it can come in a lot of forms. So I'm gonna go, buy some art supplies so that I can start creating more um, and um, take you along that journey of trying to consume less and create more. Let's do this. Okay, so it's awkward filming in public, <laughs> but I'm at the bus stop sitting in the sunshine and I can see the mountains from here. 
and I'm really excited to go home and do a little bit of drawing and just get my creative juices flowing. I've really just missed um, painting and creating things with colors and just, oh, it just makes me happy to think about doing that again. I put this glitter filter on because it's just how I'm feeling right now. Super light and happy and glittery. a lot better um which is the point of this whole video is so this is what i was trying to say before when i said i find self-love to be a, a weird term like i don't really um identify with it at all i need to move this up so that i can um not be cut off so i really think like self-love um and what people think that to be is so important to um, love who you are and to be really um, in line with your true self. I think that's um, how I see self-love. Um, and I think in order to do that and in order to be super in alignment, um, you have to do things that make you feel good. Um, so that was my goal today um, was to feel better um, and to physically, consciously, intentionally do things um, for myself in order to feel better. So along with this idea comes that um, creating versus consuming um, dichotomy. And um, I think it's a really important lesson to learn um, when we're young that other people's ideas, thoughts, beliefs, actions, privileges, um, aren't there, um, to make us feel bad. So, and they aren't there for us to, um, judge. So what I mean by that is I'm like out of breath because it's like hot outside and I'm wearing a lot of clothes. Ooh, and I'm really passionate about this. So anyways, um, I think social media, specifically um, Instagram, is, and you know what, YouTube as well, because there's that whole section of YouTube that is like kind of like fashion hauls and that kind of thing, so very materialistic. And I'm not bashing that because that is, I watch that too, that is part of our society. Um, I just think you have to take all of that with a grain of salt. And I think it's very important to pay attention to what you're consuming and how that makes you feel. Um, I've been reading a lot about um, intentional living and living, um, again, in alignment with your true self. And a lot of um, the way to achieve that comes with figuring out um, how you feel when you consume and figuring out how you feel when you create and um, how to optimize um, both of those things. So this is kind of a ramble. Um, basically, I think we need to pay more attention to what we're consuming. So today I intentionally um, put my phone down uh, when I was at the cafe. I was reading and listening to conversations around me, which was really cool because they were mostly in German, but um, that's really helpful to learn German and to kind of stretch your mind and make yourself um, work to understand other people. Um, and when I was walking, I really paid attention to the sounds around me and um, how I like the, the physical sensations. So like the sun was so strong today, which was beautiful. Um, and that filled me with a good feeling because I was consuming things that were really in line with what I love. 
Um, and then just a great moment was at the bus stop. Usually I um, will sit on my phone and just scroll and um, kind of tune out everything around me. But today I was sitting there and an old woman sat next to me and then an older woman came and sat next to her and they started talking again in German, but I could understand what they were saying. Um, and they were talking about how it's really unusual that it's so warm here in winter and that it's so sunny. Um, and that then they started talking about climate change and it was just such a cool um, thing to hear because they were saying that as much as we love this warm, beautiful weather, that it's not how it's meant to be. Um, so just picking up on conversations around you rather than scrolling through um, people's highlight reel um, can just really fill you fill you up. <laughs> um, and lastly, uh, I just want to point out that what we do with our time is so important because a day can either be something that you cherish and you fully live, or it can be something that you that you simply let pass by um, and sometimes almost wish to be over and that is no way to exist. So today I'm going to fill the rest of my day with things that fulfill me. Um, I'm going to study German for as long as I can without my brain exploding <laughs> um, and I'm going to read my my book that I got from my grandma called Sisterhood is Powerful, um, which by the way is a really good book if you are um, looking for a new book. Um, and I'm just going to focus on learning and consuming things that will give me wisdom in the long run. Um, so after this spiel, which is really, long. I'm so sorry. I just realized it's been seven minutes of talking. Um, I hope you can take with you um, the idea that no matter what you're doing, make sure it's something that fulfills you and lets your creative juices flow and lets love flow through you versus um, fear and um, monotony and consumption of of negative things so i hope i hope that made sense just wanted to mention that i by chance am wearing my bob ross shirt which is just like the perfect thing for a video about creating and um letting those juices flow gotta love mr ross okay um so i just want to say as well that I realize a hundred percent that being able to pursue your creative side and to even rest and um, recharge is a privilege in itself. Um, and I can only speak from my own experiences. So this video um, and everything I did today really comes from the freedom that I have to, to be able to do these things. And I just want to say that I really recognize that. Um, and the message that I want to send is just to um, try to um, do the best that you can with what you, with what you have. Um, and just pick up on the little things like even flowers in the cracks on the sidewalk or um, the stars at night. Just being grateful for really little things um, changes my day uh, every day um, in the best way possible. So yeah, I'm just, I'm recognize the privilege that I have to have this free time and um, this time to explore myself and life. Um, and I just want to spread the message that you can do it too. Um, and it, it doesn't have to be going out and buying things um, like art supplies. It doesn't have to be, um, I don't know, it doesn't need to be materialistic. It can, it can really be just sitting for five minutes and feeling how good it feels to breathe even. So yeah, just that little bit of 
information. Okay, so I've pretty much surrendered to the fact that this is going to be a video with lots of talking, but I just keep thinking of things I want to say. Um, so the whole idea about social media and consumption, um, I think a lot of times people forget that social media is for creation as well. Um, it's so important to post things that feel like art to you and feel really meaningful. Um, I can't tell you how much of a difference it makes when I'm posting things that feel really real and really um, me versus things about maybe just like the really good things in my life, like posting things that maybe aren't so beautiful and maybe aren't so easy is the best way that I use social media. Um, so it's not all bad. Like this is, I think this is the point that so many people try to make. It's it, social media is is whatever you make of it and um, all of us have our good and bad um, times with it and some of us use it better than others um, but it all comes down to what really aligns with who you are and I am going to get better at that. I'm, I used to post things that I loved and I used to feel so good about uh, my relationship with social media and lately that just hasn't been the case. So I am going to make the effort to get back to that and I challenge you to do the same. And if you don't feel like um, you have the capacity to create things, number one, you do. And number two, you don't have to post on social media. Like it doesn't, that is not the, the point of life. Like you can do so many other things that make you feel good um, and... Yeah, I just think we place way too much emphasis on how we look online and you just need to post what feels good or don't post at all. That's a good one. <laughs>after like 30 seconds of um making art i feel so good like i just love mixing colors and i think there's just so much to say for like not caring whatsoever what comes out of you um for example i've never drawn anything like this but i've been super inspired by um this other woman named freya um and she draws a lot of beautiful things relating to like feminine figures and nature um anyways so just like f seeing whatever comes out of you and and like feeling um open to that is really fun and a really great exercise for those of you some of you might know some of you might not i have this really huge hippie side to me and um recently i've just like gotten more in tune with it kind of remembering that side of myself so that's where all of this is coming from. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's not something like I would normally do, but I just felt really called to talk about this right now. Um, and yeah, you can follow me along this journey by subscribing. You can comment. I would love to talk about these things with you. And if you liked it, you can give it a like uh, because it really supports me. Um, so thank you so much.